is with us now, standing by our BioDigital. It's actually an excellent representation of what arth osteoarthritis looks like in the joint. Phil, can you uh, explain to us what you see there? Sure. So um, this, in this diagram, you see it's pretty dramatically shown, but the, the areas of white are the cartilage or the good cartilage uh, in the knee. The areas here that look wasted away is where you have the uh, chondromalacia or the arthritic change uh, to the knee. Uh, what you're looking at here, this is your, your femur, this is your tibia, your fibula. Um, so you can see that there's definitely significant arthritic wear or, or loss of cartilage throughout this joint. And Phil, what happens to the patients when they have this loss of cartilage? Uh, so a couple things. One, uh, it usually causes discomfort, pain, uh, the area where they have the loss of the, the cartilage or that, that soft covering of the bone. Uh, you can, it can lead to swelling of the joint. Um, it can lead to uh, deformities in the joint, um, cracking or, or, or crunching kind of sounds. I think that's excellent. I, one of the other questions I was going to see that you actually don't see on the model is a lot of people have uh, meniscus type tears that are also inside there at the same time. I don't see a meniscus on that model. Do you, what, can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so uh, the meniscus uh, are the cushions on the side of the knee and this model doesn't have them, but unfortunately sometimes if you have a tear to the meniscus that can give you an increased risk of having uh, degenerative changes. Also, if, if you have degenerative changes of the knee and you start losing joint space, that can lead to even more tearing of the meniscus. So unfortunately, it's kind of a, a cycle.